<gasps> wow. wow, what a beautiful blue day. I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to show Turtle Gang my new apartment makeover. Do you really think they need another apartment tour? Well, I've actually made a lot of improvements to the apartment over the last couple months and I wanna show Turtle Gang. I really think you're milking it. Can you get out of my room, please? Hello, this is Taylor. Welcome, <laughs> again. Come on in. <laughs> Feels like old times. <laughs> All right guys, this video, as mentioned, is about the new things. This is an apartment makeover. This isn't an apartment tour, okay? There's a difference. But before I show you guys the brand new living room, which looks almost 100% different than it did before, I wanna show you guys the area where most of the changes have been made. My bedroom. Okay, <laughs> nice. Welcome. So the first major change is right over here and I think it's an especially satisfying one. Jamie, pull up that footage. Hello. All right, next change is this. Having these glass tumblers definitely helps organize that, but just, eh, you know, it's just naturally kind of become a spot that collects a bunch of stuff. And as I've said before, I do think there has to be an area that just collects stuff, but might as well make it look a little better, a little more organized. So I'm gonna go to the number one place where I'm confident I can find something that helps divide and organize this little space a little better. But first I need to take exact measurements of this area. All right. I have arrived. Great location. I got incredibly sweaty for my bike ride. I swear I tell myself, it's gonna be easy. It's a island, so it's pretty flat, right? I mean, yeah, even if it is flat. I mean, anyway, beside the point. I'm obsessed. Guys, I'm obsessed with this store. I don't know about you guys, but some good organization really, really gets me going. All right, guys, change of plans. I originally had those over there, but I decided to come over here and see these sliding ones. So four of these would be absolutely perfect. Like, it's fine this way and this way. They're just a little bit too deep for my shelf, like actually four inches too deep. So that would just stick out too much. It wouldn't look good. So I found these, took the measurements, and if I flip them sideways, so instead of like this, like this, do three of them separately, I just have a feeling that buying three of these is gonna be the best $60 I'll ever spend. Is that true? I guess we'll find out. You know, I'm in my old age when finding a container that fits perfectly within the measurements of my shelf really rocks my socks off. Knocks my socks off? Well, how does it go? I don't know. Yay. Okay guys, I just biked back. I had to catch my breath before filming, but I'm gonna do it now. I'm so, I think it's gonna be a great before and after, but let's see, shall we? Only did everything that was here get organized. I was able to move down everything from up here, which wasn't even part of the scheduled programming. All my skincare that was up here is now right here. And now I have a whole nother use for this top shelf. Best $60 I ever spent, like I hypothesized. Months later, I can confirm once again that this is the best $60 I ever spent. And to show you guys what I did with the freed up space up here, I just put in an extra, an extra large mirror, which also happens to double as a trap door for all my valuables. Moving on. <laughs> also, forgot to show you guys. <laughs> this is brand new too. Pictures of me and all the pups I've ever had. You guys, well, you knew Charlie and Willie, you guys definitely know, but just a place to put my keys, my pepper spray whenever I come in. It's gonna take a little bit of training to remember to put them here each time, but um, nice little addition and I get to see my pups every time I walk in my door. So very happy with this also. Moving over to the rug. This is such a welcome addition that was not even in my first apartment tour. I'm putting socks on to film this part for all you freaks out there. Freaky freak, not kink shaming. I'm just, <laughs> no free toes. Ow. <laughs> These are useless. 
I just hate to dull my knife, but... I'm happy to announce that I have since purchased a box cutter. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. I like that. Ooh, I love it. Okay, I wouldn't usually call attention to my butt in a video, but the way my sweatpants look in this shot just <laughs> reminds me of the frog cheeks meme. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> Do you see what I mean? All right, moving on. How nice is that? It's like this kind of gray, silvery, abstract design. Love it. So rugs are obviously just such a great way to make a room feel a lot more cozy. And as much as I love hardwood floors, I don't love them for the bedroom. So sometimes I just come and sit and lay on this thing and contemplate why I didn't get it sooner. Moving on from the rug, we have another hard hitter over here. This took some doing to put together. Take a gander. All right, guys, please prepare yourself for a whirlwind of emotions on this one, but I promise it's worth it if you stay till the end. Alexa, pause. This is low-key gonna be difficult. Look at the directions. They're actually pretty, uh, not quite as straightforward as Ikea, if I may say so. Oh, they're tiny. What time is it, by the way? I'm doing this at 12.30 a.m. So I got through the first few steps without any issue, and then I ran into my first obstacle as I encountered a daunting new screw that I had not worked with before, known as a hidden cam screw. Alexa, how do you tighten hidden cams? Use a flat blade screwdriver to tighten the two hidden cams. But they're hidden. Okay, I figured it out. Oh, cool. Oh, these are called hidden cam screws. I've never done that before. Love that for me. Now I know. Oh. That's heavy already. Okay, that's pretty flush. Nice. Okay, let's do the next one. One obstacle overcome, but I unknowingly had a far greater challenge looming on the distance. Wow. Oh. Oh. Okay, it says tip. Oh, there's a way to do it. All right, tip the front of my unit. Even after I got the drawer tracking straight, something was still not right. I intelligently assessed the issue at hand. Well, it's getting caught on something. But what? After a comically long time of thinking that just pushing it in and out was going to fix the issue, I pulled the whole drawer out. Turns out a bit of tightening and untightening needed to happen. Do it. This footage was very cute and kind of motivational for me to watch back. I kind of surprisingly did not get frustrated when I ran into issues. I just read the directions or Googled it and I figured it out as I try to do with most things in my life. You also can't really tell, but I was going through a little bit of a rough patch when I built this. So something about focusing on it, completing it from start to finish in one go and loving how it turned out was a bright spot for me. Wow, it's like a glove. It's so much nicer and so much room for my books. Oh, and I can get a second layer going because I lent a few books out to friends, so I'm low right now, but I'm gonna need a second layer soon. Oh my god, I love it. Amazing. Wow, that's a huge improvement. That was like the one last, okay, you're entitled to your opinion, but I think it was the one last ugly thing in my room, my bedside table, and I found one finally. It took me so long to find one that was the perfect width because this is a pretty, this is like 24 inches. It's hard to find one this wide that wasn't just ginormous. Oh, look at that, look at my books. Can you see them? Amazing. I don't know why watching that footage back felt somewhat motivational, but I think you guys can tell in the video how happy I am with this. This is just one of those things where I woke up one morning and I was like, Taylor, you're an adult, you know, on paper at least. You can find a nightstand that fits in this space. So here she is. Are you saying I'm not an adult? Is that, is that your point? And I was able to repurpose what was here before. This was my old nightstand. It's tiny, but now it holds my nice little paper lamp here. I also have a little extra door there for secret items if need be. And then I suppose a fairly new thing in this room would be placky. <laughs> I was gonna mount him on the wall, but if I have him here, I can just be working and see him all the time and I like to see him. It's also just one more mirror and you guys know I love mirrors. 
Moving into my slumber corner. Pretty much everything here is brand new and I gotta say, making the proper adjustments to your sleeping arrangements makes a world of difference. Let's start with the headboard. All right, the headboard assembly did go a bit smoother than the nightstand assembly, but even still, some trials and tribulations as I assemble these things seems to be a common theme here, as you will see. All right, they gave me an Allen wrench, but this is not amateur hour. We get a hex. That sucks, I do not have a big enough head to use this. Darn it. So as I was so proud of myself for having big girl tools that I could use to expedite this process, I was humbled to learn that I did not have the proper screwdriver head to use. So I had to resort to the lowly Allen wrench that was provided. Oh, Allen wrenches, so quick. After the Allen wrench debacle, which was more of an inconvenience than a real obstacle, I ran into my first tribulation. So the holes in the bed frame that I have are on this side, the foot of the bed, which means the bed has to turn around, so let's do that. All right, for those who have not done this before or if you just don't know, a headboard typically gets screwed into the holes that are in the legs of your bed frame to keep it sturdy. I unknowingly assembled my bed frame with the holes towards my feet when I first moved in, which meant that I was gonna have to turn my whole bed around 180 degrees and doing that by myself, not the easiest task. Good thing I decided to attach the headboard first though, because... Okay, little problem. If you're curious, the bolts that this comes with are not long enough to connect all the way through and attach to a nut on this side. So I think I'm just gonna have to uh, smush my bed up against the headboard to keep it sturdy, which I think is fine. Actually makes my life a little easier so I don't have to turn my mattress around. Let's smush it. The smushing commenced and before too long, old headboard. I actually feel kind of like an adult having this headboard, you know? It's something I should have got sooner. Another change I made, not quite as drastic, but you guys might remember I had dark blue sheets before. I changed them out for these cream colored ones, which I thought just felt a little bit more warm and inviting, a little bit more like my personality. And then another adult change I made was getting some actual pillows. I slept on this throw pillow for six months. Kind of embarrassing. Take a look at my brand new pillows fluffing up for the first time. letting them fluff up, but those look nice. We'll see if they are. Big improvement from what I had before, I'll show you. Literally just this decorative pillow, which is the one that I use for my head, and it comes out of the pillowcase every two seconds. And then an Ikea one that felt okay in the store and then just got flat and it's not super comfortable. Moving over to probably the biggest, the most impactful changes of my slumber corner, starting with, I don't know how many times I could say this is my favorite part, but the sconces are definitely up there. Okay, this one is more fun. Fewer tribulations, but even more perfectionism, I would say, besides having to work around the copious amounts of fully copyrighted music that I was listening to in the background. I'm not gonna read the directions. Maybe a little. Okay, so first I wanted to mock up where on my walls I wanted to hang the sconces. Let's get masking tape. Ish. Yeah, that's nice. What do you think? <laughs> Alexa paused. I'm gonna turn her off just in case I don't want copyrighted music. All right, how's that? Not me actually looking to you guys for an answer. I think that looks good. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. Once I decided this placement looked good through your guys' help, apparently, I contemplated how to best go about making sure that these things were gonna be level. Okay, I have to do that one first because that's the constraint, so. All I can say is, when in doubt, use a level. Ta-da. Nice. I just leveled it out and measured it, make sure it's symmetrical on the headboard. You probably can't see the pencil lines from here, but oh, you kind of can. See there? One line, two line. <laughs> I decided to just put a small nail in the wall for each one of these instead of using the full-on brackets that they came with. The sconces were light enough, I just figured I would rather put fewer holes in my wall. Nice. All right, unless I effed up, those should be symmetrical. Yeah, I think so. All right, I need to get an extension cord going so those can both turn on at the same time, but BRB. All right, check this out. I have some smart plugs, smart plugs, and through all of these extension cords, look what I figured out. Alexa, turn on the light. Okay. Oh, it's the ugly color. Let me, let me redo it. I'm gonna have to put my own bulbs in because the ones it came with, every time you turn it off and on, it goes to this hospital light. I don't like these. I want that. Look how nice. Ah! Cool, huh? 
I mean, I'll hide the plug, obviously, but not too shabby. And yeah, I know that one. Okay, it's crooked because it's, one sec. Here goes nothing. Alexa, turn on the lights. Okay. Don't they look so good? So cozy. And now I can actually read in bed. Oh my God. Like without having to squint. Wow. You know, they're just those little things that make a space feel like 10 times cozier without trying that hard. It's all about the light. Oh my God, this feels like a cozy little corner. Wow, it feels like a hotel in a good way. Nice, I love it. Little kid in a candy store once I got these things up. I'm also glad I found ones that are kind of minimal looking because I went online, there's a lot of them that look like full on oil lamps. I didn't really want that. So very happy with these and then probably the most obvious and biggest change to the slumber corner, the mirrors. Okay guys, moving along. The elephant in the room I feel like is this big ass white wall. And I've been contemplating what to do with that for so long. When I first moved into this apartment, my vision was to do kind of an arched window mirror situation, one like this, until I found out how expensive all of these are, at least all the ones that I could find. Yeah, I could afford it, but I don't wanna pay for it, you know? So I'm gonna return to my roots of some kind of mirror situation. And as you can see, I'm already partial towards mirrors in my room anyway. They just make the space look a bit bigger. Let's go. All right, here I am. Hi. I was just working for a few hours in a Starbucks and now I need to get these back to my apartment. I had to pick them up at a Target on an Upper West Side because they were out that other Target. I kinda don't wanna pay for an Uber to get these back, but they are slightly heavy, three of them together. So I think I'm gonna treat myself to a bike and see if I can hold it at the same time. E bike. All right, I tried city biking with it on the front and it was just an embarrassing display of. There's no word for it. It just didn't work. <laughs> so I'm Ubering back. So, a month after buying the mirrors and having them sit in the corner of my room collecting dust, I finally decided to finish this DIY project. I was aiming to make it look like an additional window in my room, so I wanted to put in some white stripes between the mirrors to add some separation like normal window panes. I cut out strips from a piece of white printer paper to mock up how many stripes I wanted to add to the mirror, and once I figured that out, I got to my measuring. Alexa, what's 47 and a half divided by three? I just used white electrical tape for the stripes. If you wanted to take this DIY project one step further, you could use wooden dowels, cut them to size, paint them white, and glue them down. But from afar, I really don't think you can tell that much of a difference if you just use tape. All right, finish the white stripes on each of them. I'm just gonna do a quick and dirty little Photoshop job to see where I wanna place it on my wall. I'm thinking the bottom of the mirror should be in line with the top of my sconces. All right, quick Photoshop job. I don't know. This feels like it shortens the wall. This feels a little awkward. Actually, that's all right. But then halfway, one, it would be kind of hard to do, but two, does it look good? Tough decision. Okay, so it's either gonna be here, the low option, which I would not have to get a ladder out for. Here's medium-ish. I have to get a ladder out to like push <laughs> up there. Or there's the high option, which would be like, here. I ended up going with the medium option, but instead of getting the ladder out, I just put one of my ottomans on my bed and balanced on that. <laughs> like I did for the sconces, I took great care to make sure these would be symmetrical and level in relation to my headboard. And initially I tried to hang them with the medium strength Velcro command strips like I've done for all of the other mirrors in my room, but here's how that went. Constant pressure is needed. Hey, hey. Oh, it just came off. That's just great. That's okay. I can figure it out. Oh. Okay. Can I nail it into the wall? I don't really care about the holes at this point. Is that bad? That might be bad. I mean, fuck it. Let's get my hammer out. And after that didn't work, I just decided to nail them into my wall. Probably safer that way anyway, since they're hanging above my head and all. Well, now we know it's in there. <laughs> How does it look? Oh. Wow. I think it looks good. I love it. Look at that. It looks like a whole new window. As if I needed more windows. Also slightly motivational footage. I did not give up and I love them. So now moving over to 
a brand new space, my little reading nook. Starting with this brand new armchair. This is from Castlery, who's actually sponsoring today's video, but we're gonna talk about them more in a minute. It is incredibly comfortable. It is such a welcome addition to this apartment. I finally feel like I have different spaces. Like I have my sort of relaxing and also editing space. I have my like pure workspace quadrant over there, my slumber corner, obviously. So you know what I mean? Just for such a small room, it's nice to actually have some, you know, where it feels a little bit divided, however you wanna say it. Separation is the word you're looking for. So very, very happy with the armchair. I usually just keep the ottoman here, move it over here to prop my feet up to get some editing done. And then this tree was has always been here since I moved in, but we elevated it up so that way it's kind of right behind the armchair, adds to the ambiance of the little reading nook, and then moved lamp, lamp, like that's his name, move this lamp over here to just, you know, give some light if I want to read in the in the chair. So extremely happy with this corner. Like actually it feels feels so adult. I guess that's the theme of today's video. Moving over here to my workspace, really not any changes over here. Still uh, doing my thing, still getting this bread, still editing videos, nothing terribly new. But uh, now I want to take you guys to the living room, which as I mentioned, is almost 100% different than my first apartment tour. Well, let's go take a look. First thing that we have that's brand new is this bench. It feels very adult because you actually have a designated area to come take your shoes off, Put them in the organized shoe closet if you want to take a look at the organized shoe closet. <laughs> Excellent. Next thing, perhaps an even bigger fan of, is this new kind of display shelf. I've always wanted something in my apartment at some point. You know, I figured maybe not this one because it's a small space, but I always wanted something to display little knickknacks and lo and behold, knickknacks galore. <laughs> I have these little owls that I've actually had for years and years. They've just been at home in my room in Los Angeles, where I'm from, and my mom was kind enough to actually bring them over to New York when she came to visit me. So now I have them here. Along with some other fun little knickknacks, we have this man who is happy to be here <laughs> and an aircraft book. This is one of my coffee table books that I've had since for a while. Happy to be displaying some things that kind of show my personality a little bit more. This is me and my brother at a young age. Next, we have probably the most important knickknack of all. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> the real ones know. And finally, ukulele. I usually have it in my room, but wanted to make it look kind of nice. You know, a little, little staging action. <laughs> all right, next. Ooh an exciting corner. This is a brand new couch. This is a huge upgrade. If you guys remember what it looked like before, it was this white futon, which we actually still have. It's in my roommate's room right now and it still looks nice, but this one, dare I say, is a little bit more comfortable. It came with this ottoman too, and now I don't mind hanging out in here because before, you guys remember, a little bit of a dungeon, just a little bit, and that's okay, you know? but now it's even more inviting. So anyway, this is also from Castlery. Incredibly comfortable, huge fan. Next edition that we have, these new mirrors. You guys might know this about me by now, but I like to use mirrors in lots of spaces, especially small ones, just to make it seem a lot bigger. We just last night actually <laughs> put up three mirrors from Target. These are $7 each, you guys. I will link everything, by the way, in the description down below. Bolted them into where the stud was from the flex wall. It just looks a lot better, I like to think. So we finally have something on this wall. It was just white and there wasn't anything there for you know the last year. So finally nice to have something here. Also put up this shelf. Also put up this shelf. We're gonna reinforce it with some stronger hinges so it you can put <laughs> you can put glasses here, but in the meantime, it's strong enough to hold a couple little decorative things. Yeah, I just really, really am happy with how much more homey I think this space feels. Again, I'm gonna show some before and after footage you guys can see here to see the main differences. And it was perfect timing. I was actually redoing my apartment anyway when Castlery reached out and they helped me make it a lot more swaggy than it would have been otherwise. So to tell you a little bit more about Castlery, they're a modern furniture company that creates a story for every room in your home. They craft furniture that is timeless using the highest quality raw materials to 
create pieces that are meant for longevity and multi-purpose use. And as it's a direct-to-consumer brand without the middlemen, they are able to extend honest pricing and affordability to their customers. Some of the amazing features that Castlery offers includes free fabric swatches, flat rate shipping, 14-day return policy, and warranty coverage. Castlery believes that there's value in taking the time to curate your home with intention, and they want to help you create spaces that make you feel good, building intimate connections between you and your space and the people you bring into it. And I definitely already feel this in my own space, as you can probably tell in this video. So head to the link in my description to check out Castlery's amazing products, including the five pieces that I showed you in this video. And thank you again, Castlery, for sponsoring this video and helping my space feel a lot more homey. And moving into the kitchen, really nothing new here. I don't think I had this kettle the first time around, so now I can make tea a lot easier. Oh, new toaster. There is a new toaster. Right, right, right over there. That's, that's pretty much all that's new. Well guys, that was my apartment makeover. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite change was. I have a lot of favorites apparently. Yeah, and if I should change anything else, let me know what you think. But anyway, like and subscribe for free for more New York City content, more apartment content. Until next time, turtle out. Lighting's not very good. Cold brew break. Wait, where is she? Baby! Everything here stacks. I'm so jazzed. Good?